Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of my beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This is part three of my uh, three guys on beer, even though it's just me today. Um, I'm reviewing a beer that they gave me. This is uh, Kenzinger by the Philadelphia Brewing Company. A Kolsch style beer. That's like a German Pilsner type. Uh, I'll read the description. This is a real drinking beer, a golden session ale that boasts, boasts both a European birthright and a thirst-quenching Philadelphia sensibility. Kenzinger is refreshingly crisp and smooth with a spirited flavor that grabs the attention of taste buds everywhere. Get some. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of Pilsners and Pale Lagers and things like that. Um, but uh, Johnny and Dave said this is better than your average Kolsch, so uh, using my Chad's Beer Reviews glasses. I, I'm not sure if I'm even going to write a review of this. this is, I only have this one bottle, and uh, let's see what kind of head I can get here. Not much. Had a pretty, pretty aggressive pour there. Eh, I got a little bit. This is as good as I can get. Maybe now you can see the etching Chad's Beer Reviews. That doesn't look like a, a pale, that looks like almost like a Hefeweizen and that's filtered. It's got that yellow, pale gold body. It's actually a little hazy. Well, there's no carbonation in there at all. That head is, uh, you know, bright white, fizzy. Yeah, well, it's like fizzy, foamy. It's got a, a, I'm surprised, it's got kind of like a sweet smell to it. Doesn't, it doesn't smell like grain, that's good. In fact, I think, uh, I think Dave, Dave told me to look out for that, that it would, it's not going to taste like a regular Kolsch, but um, here we go, and we'll see if he's right. Ah, it's got a nice crisp hot bite to it. A little bit of citrus in there, too. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be, you know, pretty grainy. Um, this is... It's like a, it's like, reminds me of the uh, Saranac Pale Pale Ale. It's got like a, you know, a little bit of citrus in there, a little, you know, a nice hot bite. Definitely crisp, I would say that. And that is refreshing. It's a nice light beer, too. It's only 4.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Nice, easy drinking beer. Uh, pretty smooth mouthfeel, you know, nice and cold. Um... You know, nice light beer like that. You want it pretty cold. And I'm getting some nice lacing on there, too. Probably going to get a line for each swig. Yeah. I'm liking this. I am I, I am really surprised. I've never had a Kolsch or any of those, you know, the, those European lagers that I really, really liked. But I can say that for this beer. Um... Lots of flavor going on here. You know, like I said, a little bit of citrus. I'm not, uh, I'm trying to think of it as any distinct ingredients. Uh, mostly it's just kind of sweet. You know, a little little bit tart. You know, not, not nearly as tart as like an IPA or anything like that. Um, you know, you get a little bit of a hot bite on there and a little bit of bitterness. No real aftertaste, which is good. Yeah, I like it. The only thing I really like is this like kind of dry, almost kind of like a chalky finish, but you know, I like the taste. You know, some real sweet flavor in there. Not really, sh can't really put my finger on it, but it's like a little bit citrusy, like a, just a nice crisp hot bite at the end. Overall sweet palate, soft, soft, uh, gentle mouthfeel. Finish is really smooth too. And 4.5% uh, ABV, you know, it's a, uh, you don't have to be, uh, 
you know, Joe Sixpack to drink this beer. Well, I would say that's everything that the description said it was. Crisp and refreshing, so. Um, I like it. I would probably give... Um, I'm going to give a 7 uh, to Kensinger by the Philadelphia Brewing Company. Uh, it's a very good beer. Um, definitely way above average. Not, you know, it's not, it's not up there with the best of the best with your eight, nines, and tens, but, you know, seven, nice, real solid performer that I think anybody would like this. So, uh, if you have the means, check out Kensinger by the Philadelphia Brewing Company, uh, cause I gave it a seven out of 10. It's a very good beer. And, uh, hopefully I didn't ramble on too long for this video cause, uh, the rest of this is going to be some outtakes and behind the scenes from uh, me hanging out with uh, two guys on beer. So uh, that does it for this review and uh, stick around for some bonus material. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. Thanks for, uh, yeah. yep, thanks guys.